Hi, I'm Maria from Crochet A to Z, and today's topic is yarn. Let's get right in. Today's first yarn that I want to discuss is Big Twist. It's considered a value brand yarn, and it's 100% acrylic. Always look also at the label, because the label will tell you a multitude of things. One of the things that it tells you is if you're knitting, it'll tell you the size needle to use for knitting. It'll tell you the size that you should use for crocheting, and it'll tell you the weight of the yarn, which this one is in particular, is a uh, medium. It will tell you how to wash it, whether you should iron it, whether you should bleach it, how you should dry it, if you should dry clean it, if you should lay it flat. And it also, one of the big and important factors in all of these labels of every yarn is it, it does give you the color, but it, the most important thing is it gives you the lot number. And the lot number is very important. If you know you're going to be using an, an, this yarn, and you know, and any yarn really, and you know that you are going to be making a big project, or you're going to be making a project that involves, you know, a lot of skeins of yarn, you always want to make sure that you buy enough yarn in that lot. Because believe it or not, the yarns do, um, there is a change in the color sometimes. So if it's this lot number, you know all the skeins of yarn are gonna be the same color. But if it's this lot number and then three other lot numbers, but it's the same color, sometimes the variation will be lighter, it will be darker, and sometimes you will, you will definitely notice that the yarn is different in color. Even though the color is the same, and the, but the lot number is different. So always maintain that. Remember in your mind that you always buy the same lot number when you're doing projects. If you know you're gonna need two, two skeins of yarn, buy two of the same lot number. And when you go in the bins and you get your yarn, make sure you grab all the ones with the, lot, the same lot number because just because they're in that one bin doesn't mean the lot numbers are all the same. So you always wanna look at that. And um, it will tell you where it's made. So this is a real, again, this is a really nice yarn. I use it. I've gotten this at uh, Joann's. One of my favorite to-go places is Joann's for yarn. I like to go in there. It lets me relax. I look at the new yarns. I look at the old yarns. I look at different colors. There's o they're always coming up with all the different colors in the yarn in all the different uh, brands and uh, types. So... Every seller has a different color. Every seller has a different type of yarn. Um, you'll get used to knowing that this is the yarn that I like. I like this yarn, I like to work. Go-to yarn. It's like your go-to crochet hooks. You also have a go-to yarn. And your go-to yarns may be the same yarn all the time, the t same yarn type, I should say, all the time. So if you love Big Twist, then you're going to do all your stuff in Big Twist. If you love um, if you love Red Heart, then you're going to do all your stuff in Red Heart. I like them all, but I do have my go-to yarns. Uh, Red Heart is one of them as well. This Red Heart yarn is a super saver. There's more yarn packed in this uh, skein. And it'll tell you on here that it's 364 yards. It'll tell you that it's seven ounces. It'll give you again the type of uh, needle you need if you're uh, crocheting or if you're knitting. And it will give you, again, there's a lot number. It tells you the number and then it tells you the lot number. So you always want to look at that. This one tells you how to pull the yarn out. It tells you where to look for the beginning of the yarn so that you can start your project and you just pull from one side to the other. It'll, this is also a medium yarn. It's the same texture as far as this is a four, this is a four as well, and you'll notice the thickness is the same. And again, they give you the crochet hook the um, and the different things that you need to know. This is 100% acrylic. Uh, it's machine washable and on the reverse side, it tells you a lot of other things that you need to know. I do like Red Heart. Um, I use it a lot, and um, it's a good to go to yarn as well. This is Plymouth Yarn. It's Encore Mega, um, and I use it. I like it, um, but I use it for 
I use it for scarves. So if I want to make a real heavy scarf, I use this yarn. Uh, it's, I love the, the feel of it. It's soft. This is not uh, acrylic. This is all acrylic, I should say. This is 75% acrylic, and it's 25% yarn. Some of your yarns will be 100%, so that's something you want to look at as well. And it depends on you and whether you like the feel of yarn, whether you like to wear something that has wool in it. Not everybody does. Um, again, it washes differently, and it will tell you to uh, machine wash, gentle cycle, tumble dry low. It will give you the needle sizes as well. It'll give you the dye, uh, dye lot size. Always does that. This particular yarn doesn't give you a name of the yarn uh, color. It gives you an actual number. So when you buy the yarn, they're all usually going to be in the same bin. But you always want to, again, look at the dye lot number because they can vary. I've had it happen uh, where one color was, um, it was the same color, but the dye lot was different. And it did make a world of difference. I was not able to finish my project that I wanted to finish because of that fact. So I had to pull it apart and I had to start over with another yarn uh, color and dye lot. Um, so I will say it happens. You think you got enough yarn, you don't. So you have to, um, if you can't get the colors and they don't look correct, then you have to start over again. So I've had to do that maybe once or twice. This is another type of yarn. It's a 4.4 ounce, 137 yards. So this is a little less in the outage. So that's another thing that you definitely have to pay attention to because sometimes the thicker yarns have less yards in them. So you have to look at that. This is different than the other ones I've showed you. This was a four. This is a five weight. So that's different than uh, the one I just showed you. And it, there's a difference in the way it feels and uh, definitely a difference in the thickness as well. So if you look at that yarn, you can see that there's a thickness there where this is the other yarn. And there's definitely um, a difference in the way it looks, the way it feels, and the thickness of the project that you're going to be making. So that's something else that you want to look at. Uh, one of the places that I do like to get my yarn as well, if I can't find what I want on um, at Joann's and even Joann's online, I go to Lion Brand. I love Lion Brand. I've gotten be to become a real fan of Lion Brand yarn and the different types that they have. Not to say that the other ones are, are not as nice. They are. I love them all. I'm a yarn person, so I do love my my yarns, and I do love the different types that are available. All of the different brands of yarn, most of them make what they call Mandela. These are beautiful. This is another beautiful yarn. I've made blankets out of this as well. And again, it will give you how many yards, and this is 415. Um, yards of yarn. It's acrylic as well. Uh, this is, uh, you're going to notice that this is different than this and different than this because this is a three weight yarn. This is a three weight yarn. You've also, and you're going to see a difference in the texture as well as the thickness of the yarn. There's your four and there's your three. And then you've got your five, which is if you put them together, you're gonna see there's a difference in your three, your four and your five. There's a different, definite difference in the thickness of the yarn and what you're gonna make. So you are always gonna look at that and say, oh yeah, okay. I don't wanna make my item that quite that thick. If you're not going by a uh, pattern. You always want to look at that. And this does exactly the same thing as the other one does. It has uh, the, this says granite, so this tells you the color of the yarn. And then it gives you the lot numbers as well. And uh, all of these yarns um, do have 
uh, websites that you can go on and then you can get whatever type of um, pattern you want to follow if you want a pattern and they'll give you ideas on what to make with these different types of yarns. Sometimes I'll buy a yarn and I don't have any idea what I want to make with it and then it's it says I dawns on me and it's like oh yeah I know I want to make I think I want to make this or this and I go online to their brand or their online and I'll check and say I say what can I make with this yarn because believe me you will buy yarn you will not have an idea what you're going to make with it and you will bring it home and it will sit somewhere uh, with your yarn stash and you will have yarn stash and you'll say oh what am I going to make with this so or you'll get an idea and say I know I want to make a nice blanket with it but I want to get other colors to go with it this particular yarn, I made a blanket with it, and it was very weird what I did, but I did it. I took all the white and made my pots that I needed with the white. I took my light gray and my dark gray and made the parts that I needed for that particular pattern with that. I took my dark gray and made the color that I wanted with that for my pattern, and then I took my black and I used my black as a as uh, the ending of the strips that I made. That's something I chose to do because I liked the feel of the yarn and I loved the softness of it and I loved the coloration that I went in and I just said, I'm gonna make my own pattern. I'm gonna not make my own pattern. I'm gonna go buy this pattern, but I'm gonna do my own thing with this yarn, but I'm not gonna use it continuously. I'm gonna use the white, the light gray, the dark, the dark gray, the even darker gray and the black as the ending to the strips that I made. I really loved it. I'll actually show it to you um, in one of my other videos. It was, um, I liked it. It was an interesting pattern. I loved, actually loved the pattern, but it just was something different that I did with this instead of, I've and I've actually made uh, mittens with this as well. And it was interesting because it went into the, to the gray the white and then it went into the gray and it went into the the different colors and someone that I gave the person that I gave them to absolutely loved the texture they loved the softness of it but they actually loved the coloration because it was no the two mittens were not were well, they were the same color but they weren't all like identically alike it was kind of a cool cool way of doing it I decided to do it that way it was fun uh, and they loved it. Another uh, pattern or another uh, one that I've made uh, different things is this is alpaca. This is an alpaca yarn. This is so, it's also by Lion Brand. And um, it's 3.5 ounces, 273 yards. It's 87% uh, acrylic. It's 7% polyester and it's 6% nylon. And it again, it'll tell you, this is a three weight. And again, it'll tell you machine wash, tumble dry. And then it gives you all the information on the on here as to how you, you know, the, the places you can go to get stuff, Pinterest, uh, Facebook. So again, this is a lion brand. This is a burgundy color. This is like so soft. And it says it feels like alpaca, and it really does. It does feel like alpaca because it's so soft. And I have used alpaca yarn. One of my favorite things to use out is alpaca when I want to make something that's going to be really, really soft. I've used alpaca yarn for um, uh, for leg warmers. It's uh, they also make great hats. Again. Um, some people may not like the alpaca feel. I absolutely love it because it's really soft and it's it's just a really nice yarn. So that's another yarn that I use. Here is a project that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be making my daughter-in-law, um, Jacqueline, a cover-up for the summer. And I got a couple of different colors. This is all cotton, 100% cotton. This has 157 yards. Uh, again, it's 100% cotton. And it tells you the, um, it's a four weight. And you can see by the thickness of it that it's a four weight. Um, 
and this is another interest this color is called sea glass it's it's great and because I'm following a pattern and the pattern came with the yarn uh, I bought the pattern I I got the yarn I actually got the pattern free and I got the yarn it was um they give you the amount that you need so depending on the size that you'll need they send you this is again a lion brand product and they send you the amount of um, yarn you're going to need for the pattern that you're going to need again I'm making a summer uh, bathing suit cover-up and you can even use it as a top with uh, something else underneath it but uh, this is a hundred percent cotton it's also really soft as well so um, I'm not, I like to work with the different yarn types, so I don't mind working with alpaca, I don't mind working with alpaca types, I don't mind working with cotton, and as you go along, you'll find that you're going to do that as well. You'll go to the different yarns, certain yarns, certain types you'll really, really like, and then certain ones you won't, and um, that's the way it is uh, as you go along. Now this is a shiny yarn. I bought this, I got a couple of skeins of this. This was one of my, I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna make something with it. It's simply soft, it's by Karen, uh, three ounces. It's an acrylic yarn, acrylic metallic because it has the shine in it. It's really pretty. I've used this type before, I've used it in black. I think I've used it in white, in off white actually. And it's really pretty for the holidays, especially uh, scarves, hats. I haven't used it for gloves, but that's fine too. I've used it mainly for scarves for the for the holidays. If you're going out at night and you want you're wearing a like a fancy dress and you want to put on something that's a little sparkly, it's cold. You want to put on something uh, that's different, so you. This is a like a nice way to make a, somebody a scarf. It's actually a nice a gift to give. And uh, these metallic yarns, they're really pretty and um, they make a nice gift. So I like to use those as well. This I call variegated. This is a Red Heart as well. I like the Red Heart. And this is a variegated, I call it variegated because it's multicolors. It's all shades of gray. I've used this for scarves, I've used them for hats. I've actually used this for, uh, this is called Dove. I've used it for, um, I have used it for Afghans, the gray, the different types of gray. I've used this gray and then I used a black to go around it. I Granny Square was what I used this for, uh, as well as, like I said, as well as scarves. So I really love, love, love this. The other one I want to talk about is, this is Landscapes by Lion Brand as well. And this is, they call this Apple Orchard. And again, um, very, very, very soft yarn. This is acrylic. Uh, you can make hats, scarves. I've made gloves out of this. The scarves and the hats are really pretty because um, it goes in and out of colors. So you see the pinks and the purples and the blues and the and the greens um, and the pinks. It just goes in and out of color. So when you're going into one color and you, then you go into another color, it's just really, really pretty yarn. It's a soft yarn. Another yarn that is really nice to give as a gift. So, uh, and again, this is, they're all, the labels... Not all labels are made the same, but it's going to give you the information that you want. So this tells you it's a full, a full weight yarn, which it tells you that it's a medium weight yarn. It tells you the cro crochet hook that you want to use. It tells you the type of the type of needle that you want to use if you're knitting. The thing about that is um, I always make sure that it's, with the pattern, it's not a problem. If you don't have a pattern and you're making something... You want to make sure you use the, the right crochet hook because I find that if you don't, if it's too big, it's not going to be easy to crochet with. And if it's too small, it may split your yarn. And when I say split your yarn is you end up with, you know, if you end up 
splitting the yarn and the fibers and it's it's not going to make for a nice pattern it's going to take away from your piece if you are if that happens so you want to make sure that you use always use the crochet hook that's recommended either for the pattern or for the type of yarn that you're going to use so always look at that because it is it is really important then you're gonna i also want to mention that you're going to see that you're also going to get uh, ones that come in this is pounds of love and everybody makes the, uh, the different um, types of um, this is a lot of yarn this is a, the weight it's 16 ounces it's over a thousand yards of yarn and again it tells you uh, it's a premium acrylic it's a medium it's a four weight yarn and there's a lot of yarn here like I said it's it's enough to, it's a, a thousand twenty yards of yarn. So if you know you're gonna make, like I've used this for a baby blanket and I know that I'll buy one of these for a baby blanket and nine times out of 10, depending on what the pattern is, like if it's a waffle pattern, you can't chance it because it takes up more yarn, but if it's a right straightforward pattern that it doesn't have a lot of like heavy texture to it, you can buy one of these, and then you can, if you want to buy a different color for the the end of it, which I've done in the same weight of yarn, the same name of the yarn, only I use this as the main body of the, the blanket. But these are really, really great. If you want to make uh, baby blankets, if you know, if you want to make a regular afghan for yourself, you can buy a few of these and make an afghan out of this as well depending on the texture that you're looking for. This is, like I said, a four weight, medium weight. So this will make a nice, um, I think, a nice blanket. I've made it, I've loved it. And that's what you have to look for. And the thing about going to a yarn store is it's fun. It's uh, a nice place to go. It's a nice place to relax and have a good time and just look at the different yarns, even if you're not buying. But nine times out of 10, you will. <laughs> You will walk out of there with uh, yarn. I've gone in and said, okay, I just have to need this, and then I get this, and then three other things. So you will end up buying more than you expected to buy. The other thing that I want to mention is that you'll have, like I go to Joann's. I like to uh, also go and uh, buy it for, through Lion Brand. But I also like to go to the Mom and, and Pop yarn stores. Uh, the one, there's a lot of them out there. When I go to Maine, I go to the yarn cellar in Maine. I love that place. They have beautiful, beautiful yarns. Uh, some of the names that you'll never see uh, in Joann's. I actually got this from them. Uh, this is a, a cotton, this is beautiful yarn that I got from them. I'm going to be buying uh, some more of it in different colors. It's a soft cotton linen blend yarn. And I have a couple of ideas on what I want to make with this one. And then I'm going to buy uh, some more. This is the same idea. It has the dye lot. It tells you the color. Uh, the name of this is Juniper Moon Farm uh, Zoe Strips. And it is uh, it's different colors. It's like a variegated yarn. I love it. It's a 60% uh, cotton, 40% linen. Uh, this is called Too Fine. So this is a two. In, in regards to weight. So what I'm saying to you is you're going to go in there and you're going to say, oh, look at the different yarns. Look at the different types. There are a lot of yarns. It's like, I don't know, it's like going anywhere that you would go and see like rows and rows of yarn. If you haven't been to a yarn store, it's a must, especially if you're getting into this or you've been in it for a while. Those that have been in for a while understand that. We love, love to go to yarn stores. I like to, like I said, I like to go to Joann's. I like to go to um, the yarn uh, seller in Maine. I Anytime I'm up in Maine, that's where I go. I love it there. They have beautiful, like I said, they have beautiful yarns. I like to buy from Lion Brand. And there are, uh, also I like to buy from Mermaid's Pearl Shop. And that's in Wickford, Rhode Island. So there are a lot of 
go to the mom and pop stores and see what they have to. As a beginner, I know there's a lot of expensive yarns out there. You're not going to do that. I even cringe a little when I see expensive yarns because I'm like, oh, I'm not really good enough to use that kind of yarn. But as you get going, you are and you, you will buy more expensive yarns if you want to make something that's really different and fun for somebody and you want to do something special even for yourself. So again, um, look at the label. Think about what you're looking for. Think about what your project is. And go to a yarn store. Have a day to relax and just um, think about yarn. And uh, you'll go and you find other things as well. One of the next uh, things that I'm going to be talking about is all the different things that you'll need to start your first project. Such as your crochet hook and other various things that you want to have on hand as you move forward in this great craft uh, called crochet. It's a wonderful thing to uh, get into. Uh, it's not always easy. You, Like I said before in my first video, you will make mistakes. You will pull them out. You will go forward and continue. So don't be intimidated by your mistakes. Just think of them as a mistake that, like any mistake that you make, and you just move forward because... Look at the stuff that you can create. Look at the stuff that's out there. There's like some beautiful yarn out there. There's stuff that feels, this is like, feels like alpaca when it really does. And then there's alpaca yarns. And there's just so many nice yarns out there, uh, such as the cotton blends and the wool and all wool and some that are just wool blends as well. And uh, the also the acrylics and just the different colors and textures and the fun that you'll have with making stuff that's for somebody. Because you might go to the store and say, okay, this yarn's really pretty. And you think of someone that you know would like those colors and say, oh, I, you know what? I think I'm going to make them a scarf. and you, Or I think I'm going to make them a hat with that because I think they'd really like it. So always think in that vein when you go to the store. And, and again... You are going to go, you're going to buy a couple of skeins of yarn. You're not going to know what you're going to do with it, but you're going to bring it home and say, I'm going to put it in my stash and I'll see what I do at a later time with it. And nine times out of 10, I've gone and I said, okay, I have this yarn. I'm going to make something with it. And you do. So you will, and you will add to your stash. You will need, like I have, you will need containers to put your stash in, your stash stash in because you will have stash and containers with yarn of all different types all different colors uh, at one point I had different color yarns and I said okay I'm going to make myself a granny square actually I made two granny square patterns for my one uh, granny square pattern afghans for my grandchildren I made them each one and I used a lot of the, uh, the yarn that I had uh, now I have these little balls of yarn that I say, well, I'm going to make something with it. I'll probably either make another granny square or I'll find another pattern that you can, because you get all these little balls of yarn from all the yarn that you use for one project. And you just put it, I have a basket just with that alone. And you'll use that to make something else. Or oh, you might make a scarf with it and say, you know what, I'm going to make a scarf, use all different colors. I'll find a pattern. You go online, you find a pattern. Uh, you go... On YouTube, you find a pattern. You will find a pattern. You will find something to use with that yarn. Uh, at times when I haven't used it and I said, I'm not going to use this yarn. I've actually given them to um, there's nice elderly places that will take them. You know, uh, so that's another thing. If you don't want to keep or if you don't have room to keep all of the, that stuff available to you at all times, and you do find that you have a lot of balls, little balls of yarn. If you bring them uh, to places, there are places throughout your state that will take them at different uh, places. Um, and, uh, you know, schools or organizations that will take them and make something with them. Um, I've also used those little balls of yarn to make hats for the hospital for infants. So that's another thing that you can use those balls of yarn for so don't always think that oh gosh i've got that big basket what am i gonna there will be things that you'll be able to make with those balls of yarn so don't um 
think that it'll go to waste. It never goes to waste. Sion never goes to waste. You'll always find something to do. And again, this is like not even half of what I have. So when I say that you will become uh, a person that gets yarn, goes to the store, buys stuff, brings it home and says, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you will do that. So just uh, enjoy your new craft. If you've done it before, then, or if you're coming back to it, enjoy it and get ready for a project that we're going to be doing together. I say that you can, you, uh, if you want to buy one type of yarn, one color of yarn, you can do that. Or if you want to buy different colors of yarn. The first project uh, that we're going to do, I suggest that you get yarn uh, all one color. And I'm going to show you how to make this really nice uh, afghan. You can actually, this pattern, you can make an afghan or you can make a scarf with it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And that's going to be not the next uh, video the content that I have, but the one after that. The next video content content is going to be the different things we're going to need to have on hand for when we get into our project and for projects moving forward because once you get into this you're going to love it you're going to want to do other things and you want to have the tools of the trade that'll get you there so again this is maria from crochet a to z thank you and see you again for our next video have a good day